Hey everyone, welcome to the advert of Cyber 2023. This is day three, and my name is Patrick Gorman, also known as Infosec Pat on YouTube or any kind of platform. So I'm super thrilled to be a part of the Try Hack Meets Advert of Cyber 2023. And if you guys aren't familiar with this, every single day there's a new challenge for beginners. So we're gonna take day three today, you know, we're gonna go through some fun stuff and learn how to use Hydra and Crunch and a whole bunch of other fun stuff. So let's get into the video and let's have some fun. All right, everyone, so here we are on my desktop. So today is day three, so it's Hydra coming into town. So it's brute forcing. So we're gonna learn how to use some kind of brute force technique. And yeah, that's what we're gonna be learning today. So the story today we're going to be talking about, so everyone was shocked to discover that several, uh, that several critical systems were locked, but the chaos didn't stop there. And the doors to the IT rooms and related network equipment were also locked, so everything was locked. Add into the mayhem, during the lockdown, the doors suddenly closed on, the, on Detective Frosty, or fro however you say that name, I might be butchering it. All right. So as he tried to escape, his arm got caught and he ended up losing it. Uh oh, he lost his arm. He's now determined to catch the perpetrator no matter the, what the cost is or no matter the cost. Right. <clears throat> so, it's, so it seems that whoever did this had one goal to disrupt business operations and stop the gifts from being delivered on time. So pretty much they were trying to make those kids suffer, right? So now the team must re resort to backup tapes and recovery to, si to, to recover the systems. That's always good, right? You have to make sure you have your backups always in place. God forbid a tragedy happens, we have something to restore to, all right? So to their surprise, they found out they cannot unlock the door the password to the access control systems has been changed. The only, the only solution is to hack your way in. Pretty much we have to get in to this machine or to this uh, uh, room through breaking in, right? So let's go down here. The learning objectives here are to, under, after, after we learn about this, we're gonna be understand, we will understand you know, password complexity and the number of possible combinations, right? How the number of com uh, how the number of possible combination affects the feed. So pretty much, we have to see how many possible passwords that we can use to brute force this attack. Generating generating password uh, combination using crunch, and then trying to crack them, or trying 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 out passwords automatically using Hydra, right? So as we come down here. You know, so we can see how many different pass, how many different passcodes can we have, how many different passwords can be generated, and how does how long does it take to find the password to brute force, right? By brute force, excuse me. All right, so counting the pin codes, this is a lot of reading, I must say. So if we come down, obviously we have an ATM machine here. So consider a scenario where we need to select a pin code of four digits. How many four digit pins you know, are there? The total combination is 10,000, right? So zero, uh, zero, 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 one, all the way to nine, 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 nine. And that's 10,000 in total, right? So mathematically speaking, uh, that is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, or simply 10 to the fourth power, right? So different pin, codes can be you know made up of these four digits so let's keep going down so counting the passwords and as you can see here the password length right so four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen so allowed characters uppercase lowercase digits so there's about 12, 14 million seven hundred thousand seven uh, for 14 million seven hundred and seventy six thousand thirty uh, three hundred and thirty six right and the next one's uh, 56 billion and so on and so forth you can see you, you, you get the gist here right 
So if we see like how long this actually takes, this can take ages, right? So as we can come down, let's see. So here we go with this little guy trying to get a code to get into the, the, uh, the door here. So now we can have some fun, right? Now let's break our way in. So moving forward, let's review the questions in, in the connection card shown below. So as we can see here, we can click on the machine. I already did all that. We can start the attack box. I did that as well. So on both machines, I've stated, so let's, we're gonna go ahead and visit uh, HTTP in my case. 10.10.4.218 colon 8,000. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and open up a web browser on our attack machine. Just wanna make sure you guys can see that. I may have to zoom out a little. Oh, I think you guys can see it. I was just trying to make sure you, it can be shown. So it's in my case, 10.10.4.218 colon 8,000. Okay, let's just go there. Let's X out of here. All right, so let me see if I can make this a little bigger. All right. Okay, so that's inside of the VM. Perfect. So let's see what we, what we have here. Throughout the task, throughout this task, we will be using the IP address of the virtual machine 10.10.4.218. All right, so that's fine. And it's hosting the login page. So this is the login page. So you can notice that the display is shown three digits all right, yeah, so like we don't know this code, right? Right, we, we don't know it because we'll probably have to brute force it with like Hydra. And, and with Crunch, what Crunch does, it creates passwords, right? So we can create combinations of passwords, whatever we need it to be. Okay, so let's keep going down. All right, so here we go. Generating the password list. All right, so... The numeric passcode, uh, a keypad shows 16 characters, right? One, uh, zero to three, seven, A, B, C, D, E, F, right? So four, eight, 12, 16, yes, correct. Zero to nine and A to F, right? So the hexadecimal, the hexadecimal digits, we will need to prepare a list of all the pin codes that match this criteria. Right, so we will use Crunch, a tool that generates a list of all possible passwords, right? Password combinations based on a given criteria, right? So we need to uh, issue the following command. So for example, we'll issue this command and we'll get a, so let's go ahead and open up a terminal here on our right hand side. Let's make this bigger, okay? So the, the command above specifies the following three for the pretty much three for the number is the minimum, right? So we want three to be the minimum length of the password generated. Uh, three, the, uh, three, the second number, right, is the maximum length of the generated password. And then all these combinations, because that's everything that's on the, P, the, the keypad, and this would be you know, is set the character use, is the character set to use the generated, to generate the passwords, right? So the dash zero is gonna be the output file. So three digits.txt is gonna be our files that, the file that we actually saved, right? So if we come out here, we can actually run this. So let's just go ahead and run this. Let's copy this. Let's go ahead and click on the, whoops. What did I just do? Let's come down again, I'm sorry. All right, so we can click on this little thing, this little arrow, and we can paste it. And then let's come here and then paste it here. Let's go ahead and bring this in. See if we paste and hit enter. And this is gonna go ahead and create that. So now if I do an LS, we should have three digits. So if I cat that, we can see a whole bunch of different combinations. Cool. All right, so we have that generated. After executing, we should have this file. We do, and that's what we're gonna be brute forcing against the website, all right? So now using the password list, 
but now this is where I guess more fun happens. Manually trying out, you know, each pin will take ages, right? Imagine doing every single pin combination, that'll take forever. Luckily, we have an automated tool that can generate the old, these digital, these digit combinations. All right, so we're gonna be trying this out with Hydra. Okay, before we start, we need to find the, the page's HTML code. All right, so let's go back to our, oh, that opened up a new one. I'm sorry, I didn't wanna do that. All right, so let's just open up here. So we can right click on the web page and inspect or view page source. And let me make this a little larger so it can be easier to read. All right, so the method is post, right? So we're gonna look at the login. So let's go ahead, we should see that somewhere here. Let's, um, so it's gonna be 26. Yep, right here. Okay, perfect. And then there's a pin right here. Awesome. Cool. We are golden. So we see that the pin. All right. So in other words, the main the main login page is 10.10 .10, yes.4.218 receives the input receives the input from the user and sends it to the login slash login.php using the name pin. Okay. Cool. I get it. These three Pieces of information, which is post slash logon.php and pin are necessary to set the algorithms or to set the arguments, sorry, for Hydra. Okay, so let's go back to our command, command line. All right, so literally, this is the whole command. So it makes it super easy for us. So we can copy that. All right, so let's paste that here. Let me uh, go ahead and paste that. Perfect. And now let's paste that. Let me close this. Paste that here. So what are we doing here? So we're using Hydra. We're using the slash L, slash dash L. And then we're using the password list that we generated from 3digits.txt. And then we're just putting in the parameters that we 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 have given you, you know all right so let's just hit enter here and this is going to go ahead and utilize that and see if we can find the code using this three digits.txt right so while this is doing it we'll see what these these commands actually are doing hydra is the application dash l indicates that the logon is blank because we don't have a login page right so dash p Three digits is specifying the file for the password that we're utilizing. F, so this stop, once it finds the password that we are looking for, it stops it, right? If it forces stop, it stops that, right? <clears throat> the dash V provides robust output, you know, for for catching any, any errors, right? So I, obviously the IP address for our our site is 10.10.4.218. The post, excuse me, HTTP dash post dash form specifies the HTTP method to use, right? Because this is what we're utilizing. And slash, slash login.php colon pin equals pass or, you know, upper carrot. I, I, I don't know what you really call this upper carrot, I guess. I don't know. Um, pass upper carrot colon access denied. So these are, you know, three separate parts and it separates by the colon, right? And, all right, let's see, pin, oh, I guess once it, once it finds the pin, we're going to replace pass with the pin, okay? Access denied indicates that invalid passwords will lead to the page. Okay, perfect. All right, and then the dash S8000 specifies the port that we are running on. Okay, cool. So in the meantime, to let this run, it'll take about three minutes and it maybe took me three minutes to read that. I'm a slow reader, I'm sorry. So awesome, so here we have the host and here we have the code. I don't know if you can see that. Let me zoom that in a little bit more. Oh, I guess I can't really zoom that in, can I? Perfect. So right here is the password, 6F5, okay? So now, if we come down here and we answer the question, so let me just 
let me complete part two. And now let's find the flag. So let's go back to, not that, I don't know why that opened. And let's come back here and what was it? I forgot already. Uh, 6F5, 6F5. So let's come here, 6F5, continue. Okay, 16, unlock the door, and boom, we are in. So let's see if you can see that. The, the, the flag is uh, try hack me, or th, uh, THM, pin code brute force. So let's go ahead and copy this. Whoops, copy, and let's bring it here. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, and paste and submit and we are golden so that was day three i really hope you guys enjoyed this it was a fun task i learned something i think we all learn something every day from doing different techniques in different rooms on try hack me it's an awesome product so stay tuned for more and enjoy the rest of your journey thank you so much